What's going on, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus? Hey, first off, I want to say I love you, brother. Stand strong and all the hate that we're seeing going on right now. We know who the accusers are. We know who the accusers are. But so we've been saying for about a year now, maybe longer than a year, that if the 1948 date, you know, Feast of Trumpets comes and goes without something happening, well, we got to look at the 1949 date. So what a lot of people don't understand, but we've been saying for a while, but I think maybe people are starting to look in it, look into it now, is that 1948, Israel became a nation again, yes, but they were under UN control. They did not have their own government until March 10th of 1949. Uh, March 10th of 1949, David Ben-Gurion became the prime minister and then they had their own government. So from May 14th, 1948, all the way to March 9th or 9th, 10th, 1949, they were under UN control, Israel. We've made a bunch of videos on this and I've shown the screenshots and all the proof of it. If you don't believe me, just Google it yourself, right? Um, just do March 10th, 1949, David Ben-Gurion, G-U-R-I-O-N, um, Prime Minister of Israel. Or go to the uh, go to the Israel Becomes a Nation and go to the Wikipedia and then you can see all the links there. You know, everything leading up to 1948 after World, World War II and just everything that led up to the whole thing. With World War II ending in 1945 and then we could read the Psalms, you know, Psalm 39 through 45. That's about the war. And then about 1948, Israel becoming a nation again. That's, that's the part that throws me off because Psalm 48 is about 1948. So now I'm deeply studying Psalm 49 to see if there's something in there about how this is the true year that Israel was rebirthed. And this is not like grasping at straws or some last ditch attempt. This is what we've been saying all along. We've been saying if the 1948 day comes and passes, right? Because a generation from Psalm 9010 is 70 to 80 years. So if we take... Um, 1948 plus 80 years, to, that'll be 2028 Gregorian minus a seven year tri tribulation, that'd be 2021. But then we got to use the Hebrew year and that Feast of Trumpets, we already went into 5783. So now we still have until next Feast of Trumpets when it will turn 5784. Assuming, uh, assuming we're going to use the 1949 date, which is, honestly it makes a lot of sense to use the 1949 date because the Israel was under UN control for all of 1948. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot to kind of take in, but just do some study and research for yourself and you'll see.